What's up, internet? Kung may hilig ka sa computer games, you probably know by now that NVIDIA's 40 series cards are faster, usually more power efficient, and they make games look better without sacrificing performance. NVIDIA GPUs are very popular, pero sa atin-atin lang, paminsan medyo nakakalito sila. Sometimes it can be hard to decide which GPU is best for you. Hindi ka nag-iisa, and we've done a lot of YouTube videos explaining computer hardware para kung bibili ka na, Tama yung decision mo, compatible, and good price to performance. So ito yung continuation ng series na yun. Bibili ka ng NVIDIA GPU, ano yung kailangan mo malaman para hindi masayang pera mo. We'll focus on the GeForce RTX 4060 as the 60 series cards are usually the entry point for mid-level gaming. And thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. What's really great about the new crop of NVIDIA's GPUs is that they make games look good without sacrificing performance. Pano? Basics muna, resolution. Most gamers play at 1080p resolution and the next step up is 1440p. Higher resolution means better graphics quality because the higher the resolution you have, the more pixels are on screen so the sharper and clearer the image. But the higher the resolution you have, the harder your GPU has to work. Usually, bumabagal yung game mo. Except if you have an NVIDIA GPU, 20 series pataas, that supports DLSS technology. And if your game supports DLSS. What DLSS does is that your game is being rendered at a lower resolution, so your GPU doesn't have to work as hard. And your game is able to run faster. Pero yung nakikita mo on screen is higher resolution, better detail, sharper, because your NVIDIA GPU is able to figure out what the game should look like at that higher resolution. It's kind of like this. Most of us know what this picture is even though blurry siya, out of focus, low res. Alam natin na si Mona Lisa to. Hindi na pinag-iisipan niyan. Automatic na siya. And that's how DLSS works. NVIDIA trained AI to determine what games should look like at higher resolutions. Para pagdating ng panahon to render those games in high res, Di na masyadong pinag-iisipan ng GPU. The AI learning did most of the heavy lifting already. Essentially, low res in because your game is still being rendered at a low resolution, pero higher res out. Yung output sa monitor mo, higher resolution as determined by the AI of NVIDIA. That's DLSS. Better looking graphics without the performance hit. So far, so cool, but DLSS does get a little bit more complicated because it's constantly being improved. Yung DLSS 3 or frame generation can only be done by 40 series NVIDIA GPUs like the GeForce RTX 4060. DLSS 3 takes two scenes from a game and is able to determine through AI what the scene in between should look like. This is great for games because it's smooth na yung gameplay, you're getting more frames but less workload again for the GPU. DLSS sounds good in theory, but does it work well in practice? Running benchmarks in Cyberpunk 2077 with the new 2.0 update, with the GeForce RTX 4060, and the latest drivers, I got an average FPS of 70 at 1080p with DLSS off, frame gen off, RTX off. Next, I just changed two things. I turned on DLSS and frame gen, RTX still off, still at 1080p, and I got 124 FPS, almost a 100% increase in the frames I was getting. Wild. Now, yung DLSS 3 is only for 40 series cards, but DLSS 3.5 is available for all RTX cards. So alam ko medyo nakakalito, yung DLSS 3, which sounds older, is only available on the latest NVIDIA cards, but DLSS 3.5 is available for all the cards. And these are actually different AI scaling technologies that focus on different things. DLSS 3 is frame generation, DLSS 3.5 is ray reconstruction. Now, that doesn't sound like such a big deal at first, but lighting plays such an important part in the immersion of a game. Sobrang pangit and sobrang halata kung ang labo ng reflections, smeared yung lights in the game scene. So it's always been a challenge to get proper lighting, to render proper lighting in a game. But as with all the implementations of DLSS we've seen, this uses AI to figure out realistic lighting without putting too much strain on the GPU. 
Stepping away from DLSS a little bit, there is one more feature about NVIDIA cards that you should know about if you're a gamer, especially if you're an esports gamer, and that's NVIDIA Reflex. Reflex doesn't get as much attention as DLSS, but it tackles the basic problem of how to make you the fastest gun in the West, i.e. input lag. The amount of time between your mouse click and something actually happening in the game. And even better, NVIDIA Reflex works on GTX 900 cards and above, so these include a lot of the older cards, although performance is best on a 30 series upward. If you pair the Reflex software with a compatible G-Sync monitor, you even get a tracker on your screen, a counter, which lets you know in how many milliseconds it has taken from you pressing the mouse to actually something happening on screen. So we are talking milliseconds improvement, but if you're an esports professional or if you're just super competitive on online games, you know that those milliseconds count. And that could be the difference between a kill for you or being killed. And if you're into online gaming, you're probably also interested in streaming. The GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs also feature the 8th generation of NVIDIA's video encoder, NVENC, which now supports AV1. This allows a big jump in how well your stream looks to your viewers. Essentially, the new encoder is up to 40% more efficient, meaning even without any increase in your internet bandwidth, you are still able to send more data to your streaming platform, which means better streaming performance. The better for your audience to enjoy kills like this. So all of the DLSS improvements are based on AI learning, but aside from all of that AI magic, the GeForce RTX 4060 does have significant improvements over the previous generation. For one, it's faster, roughly around 20% faster compared to the previous generation 3060, and it uses less power. The max power consumption is only 115 watts compared to 170 watts for the 3060. So that's almost a 40% drop in electricity usage. And perhaps most importantly, it's cheaper than the 3060. Although ingat ka, kasi may ibang stores pa dito sa atin, for whatever reason, Mas mahal pa yung 3060. I don't know why. Since the GeForce RTX 4060 is faster than the older 3060. So, ingat ka lang. Dada tayo na dada about NVIDIA GPUs, but actually, NVIDIA doesn't make its own graphics cards. Well, they do make limited Founders Edition cards, but good luck getting that here in the Philippines. It relies on partners such as ASUS to actually make the cards for its chips. If you're considering the GeForce RTX 4060, we do like the ASUS 4060 Dual. It runs cool because of the Axial Fan technology. Build quality is good with its aluminum construction. And in general, for this card, motherboards, in general, the items from ASUS that we've covered are really good quality. And ASUS does have a promo up to the end of this month, October 2023, where if you buy select ASUS motherboards or GPUs, you can get up to 800 pesos worth of Steam credit. Sakto! Bumili ka na ng bagong hardware, and thanks to this ASUS promo, you'll have budget to buy games too. Our much longer review video on the ASUS 4060 came out last month, and you can check that out for more information. As I mentioned at the start, this is a sponsored video. Pero sa totoo lang, after researching and shooting this video, I only wanted to do one thing. Play games. With all of the improvements NVIDIA GPUs bring to the table for gamers, better looking graphics at lower GPU load so the game can still run fast, I'm excited to play games again. My personal card is a 30 series so I won't be able to use DLSS 3 but everything else is on the table and I think it might be time to visit Night City again. Thanks for watching.